Okay, let me show you how to paint a pipe fence. This is just a piece of pipe that I've uh, got laying here. It comes in, it's oil field pipe, comes in uh, 32, 33 feet lengths. This is 2 and 3 eighths. Most of the pipe that I'm painting is 2 and 7 eighths. Uh, but that's just what I built my fence out of um, 25 or so years ago. Uh, it's obviously rusty. When you buy it, it's rusty. And um, need to do something to take that rust off or to convert that rust. You can see I've already got paint on my fingers. Been doing this for a while. But let me show you this, uh, show you what to do to um, convert the rust to something that the paint will stick to. Uh, this is called OSPHO, O-S-P-H-O. Uh, Skyco is the brand, um, or the parent company, I guess. Um, you paint it on, it's just like water, as far as uh, the viscosity it goes on just like water. And you paint it on and it, it um, will turn the pipe, the, the rust, kind of a black color. I did a lot of reading on this, on uh, rust converters, and this uh, on Amazon just got great, great reviews, plus a friend of mine uh, that lives down on the, close to the Texas coast, Bill, told me that's what he's been using for years, and everybody down there uses it on their golf carts and boats and whatever they have, so good, good stuff, OSFO. Um, I'll put a link to that, to the OSFO, uh, in the description box below and leaves in most cases leaves a just a slight white powdery residue really not much and uh, depends on how thick you put it on if you just got it running down it like water really dripping it the uh, the white powder may be a little uh, heavier but um, it gives it uh, gives the paint a uh, uh, a real good place uh, to stick uh, this paint that I'm using is actually a primer. Get that out of the way. It's actually just a red oxide primer, but it is um, gloss, which I until I opened it up, I would I didn't think it was gloss. But that was kind of the color I was wanting to go anyway, because I bought new gates and they were um, brown, and so you know I was kind of I really didn't want to paint brand new gates. That sounded kind of stupid to me. So uh, this paint has matched up nicely. I'll show you the, the result in uh, some other video on my gate video, I guess. But um, anyway, the, the primer went on real smooth. Uh, and i tell you what, it, you can't hardly scrape it off. Um, I mean, it's, it's stuck. This is some good, good uh, agriculture grade red oxide primer. Um, but what did I use to paint it with? I went down to Lowe's after reading reviews on Lowe's saying, telling me how bad the, the little paint mitt that you wear on your hand that, that you um, paint uh, pipes with and such and irregular objects, irregular shaped object, objects. And uh, even after reading a bunch of reviews, I had used them before, and they 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 work pretty well. But apparently, they don't make them like they used to. A lot of the reviews, some of the people said they work great. Most of them said, you know, just junk. And I tell you what, I use I went through about five of them. I think I bought four at Lowe's and one similar at a local hardware store. And uh, the first the first one I put on and and started painting it. It didn't last but about 25 feet before it started coming apart and leaving chunks of the material in the paint in the uh, on the surface here. Started looking terrible. Uh, I put another one on in no time at all. It started doing the same thing. So you know I used it because I, I I used a brush some, but you know when you, when you got a lot of fence to paint, you don't want to use a brush. So uh, while I was there buying the other paint mitt at the local hardware store, I picked up just a a big sponge. This is about two inches by eight inches uh, long and maybe five six inches wide. And uh, this and a rubber glove, so you can hold it without getting your mess, your hand messy. That has turned out to be the best way. Yes, this you know it. This tears up some, 
but only because I was getting in some places, had some barbed wire uh, where the fence uh, on my pull post and stuff, and the barbed wire was kind of tearing it up and the wire and stuff, uh, but lasted much, much longer. So save your money on the mitt. Don't buy the paint mitt unless you can find a different brand than, than what I found. But uh, the sponges work well for me. Uh, the Osfo, I'm a big believer in that now. I will always keep some Osfo around. Uh, big believer in the Osfo for anything that's rusted. Uh, the top of my trucks, uh, I've already painted it once and it's starting to rust a little bit. If I don't paint it again, I'm going to have a moon roof that I don't really want. <laughs> if I don't paint it, it's going to rust through. Um, so, uh, let me show you the uh, just the painting in action. I'll put on my rubber glove, go down to a fence that uh, or to a post, and start painting it. And show you a little bit. Okay, here's one of the posts, and as you can see, it's got the white film on it, the white uh, residue, and I I just kind of knocked some of it off with my shirt. Most of it's gone, and just kind of hit the shirt on it, dusted it. Uh, anyway, with the uh, with the sponge. Now this one's not saturated yet. Once it gets saturated it does a much better job. But I just couldn't see standing here with a brush all day long. And this is much quicker. You can kind of push it, squish, push the uh, sponge and get it into areas where the the fence is uh, won't let you. Uh, it's not letting the paint go in. Anyway, it does a great, great job. Great coat. Uh, puts a, a good thick coat on it. This paint is real thick. I didn't thin it down any. But again, when you get to a place where the wire is, kind of push it up in there. And I've had, I did have to come back and touch up some of them, uh, especially the ones that were up by the house that I wanted to look a little, a little more professional. Had to come in here and touch them up with some paint to get way up in here and the, uh, you know, where the, the brush wouldn't get where the wire was. But uh, as a general rule, that right there works so much better. Then a brush and the paint uh, mitt, the thing that they sell for a paint mitt. As you can see, it does a great job of getting in between the, the post and the wire and coating it excellently. And again, the, the, the sponge will start to tear up some. If you snag it on some of the, some barbed wire and snag it on some uh, some of the, these wire ends and stuff, you know, you're going to tear it, tear it up a little bit. And the, the paint mitts weren't terribly expensive. They just didn't go very far. It was just stupid. Uh, you know, when that is supposed to be what it's designed for, it's called a paint mitt. That was just crazy. So I have found uh, a better way to paint. Okay. I got a bunch more to do. So as you can see, it does a great job. That's one fence post. Here's another one right by my chicken pen. And uh, just absolutely did, did a great job. And uh, so I recommend the Ospo and I recommend the um, sponge a good thick sponge anyway that's a good surface good coat um, and uh, that's some tough stuff it's hard to get off your hands too that is some good good paint don't ask me what kind it was because I had it for probably 15 years opened it up had a had a uh, layer of uh, what do you call it something skimmed off I had to skim off the top of it just the, because he'd been in the bucket so long but anyway here's uh here's the fence post and uh they just a uh, shining in the sun I like it and I got me some new gates that'll be another video entirely so this is it if you want to paint some fences I suggest a sponge but I suggest also coating them first with a rust 
converter, a rust killer, and that would be uh, the one I recommend would be Osfo. Thanks for watching.